On January 7th, relentless wildfires began ripping through Los Angeles County. As firefighters raced to contain the flames, more than 200,000 people were forced to evacuate and an engineering challenge reemerged. How to get life-saving information to the right people in real time. As emergency systems worked to keep up, a relatively unknown app called Watch Duty quickly became the most downloaded iPhone app in the country, ahead of OpenAI, TikTok, and Instagram. This week on the Circuit Watch Duty app, co-founder, CTO, and engineer David Merritt explains how the app became a lifeline helping countless people escape the flames right here during the Palisades fire and over in Altadena during the Eatonwall fire. My friend John moved um, from San Francisco to Guildsburg and uh, pretty quickly had a couple fires that were really close to his house. He was really frustrated by the lack of information, so he started looking on Facebook and Twitter and found people that were doing really good community reporting on this. But they were all really localized. They're not on every fire. So, you know, he had the idea and, and convinced me it was a good idea to build a specific platform for this reporting. Watch Duty is a natural disaster reporting and alerting platform. We want to give you all the context to make safe decisions for yourself, your family, your community. In the actual application itself, you'll see a lot of different layers that kind of give you the flexibility to decide how much information you want. We're very careful that all of our information is as accurate as it can be, especially within the constraints of, you know, we need to get information to people quickly. If we see that there's a new fire start, we're posting within five minutes at the max. So we have a lot of automation and tooling and things that are kind of scanning the various signals on the web and different data sources, governmental and private for new fires. We have fire perimeters that are taken from a variety of different sources. So we're doing some like geospatial aggregation. But what we do is we bring all that information to the reporters. We're aggregating a lot of data sources internally, but what you see in the end is something that's been synthesized and verified and then, you know, we have reporters that will double check with each other. Is this, does this look right? Does this location look right for the fire? And then we post it to the app. There's also like three times as many contributors that aren't writing the reports to the app, but that are helping support the reporters do what they're doing. Now, at this point, we also have some paid reporters as well. I think we're at like six or eight, maybe 10 paid reporters and then 50 volunteer reporters, maybe 80 more, 100 more contributors. Once we saw the start of the Palisades fire, I pulled everybody on the engineering team and was like, let's just start hunting for things we can do to get ahead of this. The Palisades and Eaton wildfires killed at least 29 people. More than 16,000 structures were destroyed and over 50,000 acres burned. The financial toll is staggering, soaring past an estimated $250 billion in damage in the Los Angeles region alone, making this one of the costliest natural disasters in U.S. history. It's, um, it's been terrible. It's been a terrible. Everyone who lives in the city knows someone, most of us multiple people, um, families, friends, colleagues, neighbors whose house is burned down. It has been a sickening, shocking, awful experience, but has also been in a lot of ways a beautiful experience because uh, once again, we, we see our fellow men and women coming together to support each other. The outpouring of support has been fantastic. People are either writing in, sending letters. I just saw one that came in and it was about the Eden fire. They were like, you sent me a message 15 minutes after the fire started. And I started packing my house right away. I could see the flames five minutes later and I'd already packed up the whole house and got out of there. I told my entire neighborhood to leave. A lot of people wrote in and said, like, I don't, I don't know if I would have made it out of that fire. Hi, I'm Jason Lee. I'm the lead editor on The Circuit. And the night of the fire, when it came through, we really had no resources to check the status of where the fire was at any given moment uh, because our internet was down, our power was out. All we had was our phones and we had very poor reception up in that area but we were able to use the Watch Duty app. Between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m., the fire jumped a mile and a half, and we looked at the Watch Duty app, and it told us to evacuate immediately. My home was lost. I can safely say the Watch Duty app saved our lives. Thank you for sharing that. I mean, it's it's why we do this work. You know, it's, it's really important, and I'm glad to hear that I think we helped save some lives that day. 
Watch do the app co-founders John Mills and engineer David Merritt show us that technology can do more than just connect, it can also save lives. And to all the first responders, firefighters, and emergency crews on the front lines, we thank you for your bravery and sacrifice, which will never be forgotten. That's all for this week. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more engineering news.